Hi y'all, welcome to the 2A Freedom Range channel. I thank you for watching. Thank everyone that has subscribed to my channel and has supported me and left all the comments, good or bad, it don't make any difference. But guys, what I wanted to share with you today, I have went by my local gun store and I have uh, picked up the Smith & Wesson CSX chambered in the 9mm. And it came, just so happened, this came in a range pack that uh, they'd put out. And just for a disclaimer, I'm not selling firearms, I'm not selling ammo, YouTube's pretty picky about that kind of stuff, I'm not selling that. The purpose of this video is just to share with you what i done when I went to the gun store, picked up this little firearm and my experience with it, and guys, just to share with the information that I've learned about it and stuff. I've not fired the first round through this little pistol. I actually, as I uh, read about them and stuff, I actually wanted to check out one for my EDC to put it in my lineup with my EDC everyday carry, but I've never fired around to it. And uh, as of what I've done and inspected it so far, I would probably not carry it as an EDC. There's something about the little pistol that sucks. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you what I'm talking about. Maybe you got a different opinion, but as far as me, I probably would never carry it unless Smith & Wesson needs to do something about this problem, but I'll share it with you at the end of the video and get, give you my thoughts on it. And guys, y'all can leave me a comment and tell me what you think. And like I said, uh, these little guns were designed, they were di designed for deep concealment. They were designed for uh, close contact, you know, for uh, self-defense and whatever. But, uh, and guys, that being said, what I'm going to do is get reset up and uh, we'll take a closer look at it. I'll show you what I think about the little pistol that sucks. There's a lot of good qualities about it. Smith & Wesson is on the right trail, in my, in my opinion. You know, when we do these videos, you're only looking through one viewpoint. There's many views out there. We all got opinions, but Smith & Wesson's on the right track with this little pistol, I believe, but there's one problem with it that they definitely need to, need to fix and take care of and address. And guys, that being said, let me get set up and we'll take a real close look at it and uh, see what y'all think. Okay, y'all, here we go. We're going to take a look at this. Like I said, this was a Smith & Wesson range packed up. It's just like I picked it up at the little gun store that I went to. But anyway, I thought we'd uh, take a look at it and see what all come with it. And go in a little detail on the pistol. Get y'all's thoughts on it, guys. And what we got in this little range pack, it come with a... I, like I said, I've already looked at this stuff, but anyway, I just want to unbox it and show you. It came with a mag holder, which you can slap right on your belt loop right there, so you can carry your extra magazine with it, guys. Right there it is. It's pretty nice. I like that pretty well. Of course, it come with the packing. It also came with a holster right here guys and i believe of course you can change sides with it it can be lefty or righty holster i mean you can change the sides just take the screws out and change it got some adjustments on it it came with that which is pretty neat i do like that and now we'll take a look at the little gun comes in this old plain box here Smith & Wesson, like I said, this is a CSX. It is aluminum framed. Of course, we got the normal lock comes with it, and then you get you on your manual and uh, your normal paperwork with it, guys. Comes with all of them. And now in this range pack, they originally, the way they normally come, they come with one 10 round mag, and this is a 10 round here magazine. And then they come with, uh, it normally comes with just one 10 round and one 12 round mag right here. Which these mags seem to be made pretty well, but just right here, I don't understand that. I mean, that's, that's something they either, I don't know, that's about ignorant there. But anyway, that's what they normally come with. They come with one 10 and one 12, but this range pack, it came with one in the gun. I'll show you in a minute. And also, it comes with an extra back strap. 
as you can change the back straps on it and we'll show you in a minute and it also comes with this extra mag release it's ambidextrous so you can take the the one that's in it now swap sides with it it's ambient and it's got this other back strap that you can change out for hand grip and it's got this little tool right here and I'll show you in a minute hopefully but this right here is what you use to change your back strap out with is that little little tool which is pretty neat and guys what we have all wanted to see was this little it is it is clear there's nothing in the chamber nothing in the mag guys there's nothing in the mag like I said you get with this range pack you get two 12 round mags and then you get this 10 round and you get the the mag holder you know you got an extra mag you can carry on your side and you also get you you get you a holster right here guys you're ready to go ready to go this is a nice little looking little pistol I'm telling you like I said it's clear I'm not selling guns guys but I'll tell you what I really like the way this little pistol feels it is aluminum framed it's hammer fired it's got a whole lot of characteristics just like a 1911 guys it's a nice little pistol and we'll talk about some details about it and get y'all's thoughts on it and I'm gonna tell you what I really think sucks about the thing here in a minute and guys we'll see what we can do okay guys like I said this is a nice little pistol right there I really wish that I could uh, carry it from my EDC and we'll explain to you why I don't want to here in a little bit what part of it sucks but that being said guys this little uh, pistol right here has a 3.1 inch barrel which is very nice and the height of it according to the specs on it is 4.6 inches in height and the width of it guys is one inch according to their specs and overall length is six inches uh, guys dimensionally wise they claim that it's not much different than the MMP uh, nine millimeter shield plus but I'm telling you it's a sharp little pistol it's, it feels extremely good guys I'm telling you it's extremely good feels good it is hammer fired it is hammer fired like I said it is it is cleared there's nothing in it and uh, it is cleared and guys another feature about this little old pistol is all the ambi controls on it. it's got an ambi slide release on it here and there both sides it's got your mag release and like I told you there a while ago uh, it also has the other where you can swap it already comes with it so if you don't you know for the lefty right there just take that one out and put this one right in there you're good to go and guys you do have uh, like I said you got this little tool I'll show you in a minute how it works hopefully but guys uh, this is a hammer fired it's single action uh, it's a nice I mean this feels good all around it's got the Novak style sights on it three dot uh, uh, they're low profile sights I really like that if you noticed on the top right here it's got serrations to knock down glare that's really nice a lot of nice features features about this little pistol it's got nice serrations on the front and the back and it's also got these little wings sticking out right here for better and we work small you can get a better grip on it like the EZs do they've stole that from the EZs and guys another thing about this little pistol you can put it on safe and you can still cock it you can still cock it I mean if you're going to unload the thing you know just drop your mag and you want to take the uh, the round in the chamber out all you got to do is throw it on safety be a lot safer you know just take your round right out like that like I said it's got ambi, ambi controls the grip is a 19 degree grip guys like I said uh, I mean it's got nice texturing on the front on the sides uh, what else can we say about it it does have a trigger blade safety in in uh so it's it's safe it's safe i mean you got an ambidextrous 
safety there, and then you also got your trigger safety. And guys, uh, the mags come out good. Okay, guys, I was going to show y'all how this little tool that came with it go uh, works. And uh, you got these two back straps, and this is one that come on it. You just put it right in that little, put this little tool right in there. And you just mash down. You mash it down, push forward, take it right off. Okay. And if you want to use this back strap, you just stick that, that little ear right there in your groove, right in the groove right there. You just kind of mash down, pop it right back on there. You're good to go. The reason I probably would never use that, which it don't really feel that bad, but it's got this recess in this aluminum frame and all this here stays smooth. And this doesn't fill it in. This is the smaller one. It'd give you a little smaller grip. But guys, I probably never would use that, but that's how you change them out. Pretty simple. Just put it right in there. Mice down, pop it out. This is the one that I will probably stick with. I like the way this one feels anyway. Guys, like I said, this is a real nice little pistol. It comes with these three mags right here, guys. And with the... Uh, with you, uh, your 10 round in there. Guys, you don't have a whole lot of room for your uh, pinky right here, but with the 12 round, which is in it right now, you got room for your pinky. But if you, you know, if you put this uh, 10 round in there, you really don't. And I don't really see any need me personally, I don't see any need for the 10 round to be made, period. I mean, like I said, you know, probably already said it, but there's not a whole lot of difference in these, in these mags. And this little deal right here, uh, sliding back and forth and being aggravating, that's, I don't know. They either make, they either, they either make that stationary on these mags or just do away with this piece, period. But guys, these are nice little pistols that... If they would only get the trigger figured out, you know. I mean, it's a nice looking gun. Feels good in the hand. Feels good in the hand. Nice little pistol. Okay, guys. What I thought I'd do is get us a weight on this little pistol. It's still cleared. I ain't put the first bit of ammo in it yet, but I was going to get us a little weight on it right there. And see what we got. 19.4 ounces right there. Ain't too bad. 19.4 ounces, guys. Now I'm going to get to the part that sucks about this little pistol. See what y'all's thoughts is on it, guys. And uh, stay right there just a second. Okay, guys, as I promised, I was going to tell you what I believe sucks about this pistol. And like I said, I'm just one, one man's opinion looking through one set of eyes. There's a lot of opinions and a lot of ideals out there. Now, when I read about this pistol... I understood that, you know, people were getting false trigger resets. So if we look at the false trigger reset on it, guys, this trigger to me feels awful. I mean, it just, I mean, it don't feel, it don't feel good at all. But as far as the trigger reset, hope we can get this. It popped right there. I hope you can hear that. It's not ready to fire. All right, you have to let all the way off of it and come back, then it will fire. Well, I probably could deal with that. But let's put a, the Willer trigger gauge on it. Six pound, 13. 0.6 ounces. Okay. Let's do it again. Six pound, 2.8 ounces. Wait a minute. Let me get it on there. Right. Reset it. Six 
six pound, 7.0 ounces. Guys, like I said, with the false trigger reset and uh, the poundage on the trigger right there, there is no reason in the world that Smith & Wesson cannot make a better trigger and put in this little gun. It is an excellent gun. It feels good. I don't know how it shoots yet. I've not shot it. But it's a nice gun all the way around. But something needs to be done about the trigger. I mean, it just even feels, the thing even feels awful when you go to mash it. I mean, uh, to pull the trigger, it's just, it's just, I don't know, it's just, it don't feel good. And with the false trigger reset, they need to lighten this trigger up. It needs to be lightened up three and a half, four pound. And they need to do a better job on that. Other than that, they got a good ideal going on right there, guys. Got a good ideal, nice looking pistol. And guys, that's just one man's opinion. I love the gun, love the concept, love the way it looks. I mean, I wish they'd do something about the trigger. And that being said, I'm going to make another video and getting it out on the range. I didn't want to make this video here extremely long. But that being said, just remember, there's a God in heaven that created the heavens and the earth. He made us in his image, and he sent his son, totally God, totally man, to die for our sins. She had precious blood, and on the third day was resurrected from the dead, guys. And all we got to do to have eternal life is repent of our sins, ask him to save us. The Bible says, if you confess Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Until the next time, guys, may God bless you.